Hello, welcome to Maths with Jay. In this question, we've been given a product to differentiate. So we've got product of x squared and the square root of 5x minus 1. So let's just remind ourselves of the product rule for differentiation. So we use this when y is a product of two functions of x. So u is a function of x and v is a function of x. And then dy by dx is going to be u times dv by dx plus v times du by dx. So we need to be clear what u is, what v is, differentiate them both, and then combine them so that we're using this formula. So let's have a look at the function that we've been given. So I'm going to write it to make it a little easier to see how to differentiate it. So instead of the square root symbol, I'm going to write that as power of a half. So we want to let u equal to one of the functions. So it doesn't really matter which one, so we might as well take it to be the first one. And we need to u by dx. So that will be 2x. And then v is going to be the other function, so that's 5x minus 1 to the power of a half. And now we want to work out dv by dx. And, well, it's really a function of a function. So what we need to use here is the chain rule. So we use the chain rule in an example like we've got here, when v is a function of something which is a function of x. So we can use the letter w, for example, so that if v is a function of w, where w is a function of x, then we want to know what dv by dx is, and that will be dv by dw times dw by dx. So in the example we're looking at here, we're going to let w be equal to the 5x minus 1, so that we can say, well, if that's the case, then v is going to be w to the power of a half. And now we can work out dv by dw and dw by dx. So what should we do first? Well, let's do dv by dw, as we've got v just on the line above. So that's going to be a half w to the minus a half. And then going back up to look at the w, dw by dx is equal to 5. So you can see when you look at the chain rule that it's if these things were fractions it would be as if the dw's were cancelling. Of course they're not actually fractions but that kind of helps you to remember how to do this. So now we can write down that dv by dx is dv by dw so that's a half w to the negative a half. And now instead of a w here, I'm just going to put in 5x minus 1, because that is w, so that's to minus a half. And then we're going to multiply that by the dw by dx, which is 5. So let's just put that in a bracket there. So really the hardest bit so far is realising that one of the functions was a function of a function and that we needed to apply the chain rule. So we can simplify this by bringing the 5 to the front, putting it over the 2, and then we've got 5x minus 1 to the minus a half. Um, we could actually rewrite this now as 5 over 2 root 5x minus 1. It'll be easier to uh, deal with when we're inputting it to the calculator, once we've substituting in, substituted in a value for x. Right, so now we've got our u and v, we've got du by dx and dv by dx, so we're ready to apply the product rule. So dy by dx is going to be u, so that's x squared, multiplied by dv by dx, so let's just put that in a bracket, so that's 5 over 2 times the square root of 5x minus 1. And then we're adding on v times du by dx. 
So that's going to be square root of 5x minus 1. That's our v. And du by dx is 2x. So I've shown this so that it's clear to see where you, the u, dv by dx, v and du by dx are all coming from. The next stage is to write it in a more sensible order. So here we'll want to put the x squared after the 5. So we've got 5x squared all over 2 times the square root of 5x minus 1. And then this would make more sense to put the 2x at the front and then multiply that by 5x minus 1. So we have differentiated y and got the answer in terms of x. So we want to find what dy by dx is when x is 2, so we simply substitute in. So when x is 2, dy by dx is 5 times 2 squared all over 2 times. Now 5 times 2 minus 1 is going to be 10 minus 1, 9. The square root of 9 is 3. And that will then give us 2 times 2, and then we've got the 3 again there, haven't we? So we've got 5 times 2 over 3, so that's 10 over 3, plus 4 times 3, so plus 12, and 12 is 36 over 3, so that will be 46 over 3.